Hey guys, and welcome to Tailored Tech. Uh, today I wanted to cover a quick issue that I keep getting asked about both in the YouTube comments and on Twitter regarding uh, how to use one network or the other when you've got two networks on your Freenas box and two networks on your workstation PC and you want to use that 10 gig link but it keeps trying to use the one gig link when you're connecting. Um, there are two ways to do this in Windows essentially and we're going to go over both of them. One is to do it um, implicitly, tell Windows I prefer this adapter but if you can't use it, use this adapter. And the other way is to do it explicitly by having the two networks separated and uh, basically naming your mapped drive by the network by the, the network device of the network you want to use. So um, I did it the explicit way in my video, but we'll, I'll show you the implicit way also, which is actually, it can be really handy, um, especially like if you have a laptop at work that you have a docking station for, and um, it, when it connects to Wi-Fi, it never wants to let the Wi-Fi go, and the Wi-Fi sucks at your desk, so your internet doesn't work until you disable your Wi-Fi. Well, you can actually fix that by just changing this, uh, changing a setting on your uh, network adapters in Windows. So let's hop on the computer and let's go over it. Okay, so we're on Windows 10 here. Uh, what we're gonna do is go to network connections and change adapter options. We're gonna start, this is, we're starting with the implicit method for, um, so this is a, what, how you can set it up to use the best connection available. That's what I mean when I say in the implicit method. Um, so, um, we're not explicitly saying only use this one. We're saying use the network connections as available, but use them in this order. So what you can do is you can come and go to the properties of each of your adapters under IPv4 settings. Um, this automatic metric down here, what you want to do is uncheck this, and then you can give them a numerical value. It'll go lowest to highest in terms of trying to use the lowest possible network connector when it's trying to make a connection. So if I give this an interface metric of one, that makes it the lowest. Um, I'm not sure if zero is valid, I've never tried. Um, I just use one through however many I have. Usually you don't have more than two though. So you can do the same for IPv IPv6 if you're on uh, if you're on an IPv6 network. I'm using IPv4 here at home. So there's um, no reason for me to set the IPv6. So we've set that one, we can come over here, same thing or advanced change my metric to two uh, that's the secondary connection now that implicit method there as you can see we, we set this guy one this guy two um that's helpful for two adapters on a single computer trying to access a device that is on and both adapters are on the same network um, if they're on separate networks it may not necessarily make much of a difference um, if you like for instance think of it this way if you in this situation we have with the peer-to-peer -peer, if i've got my 10 gigabit peer-to-peer -peer link that is its own separate network completely independent from my one gigabit network that everything else in the house is on um, so if i've got a dns server and i've given my freenas box a dns name on that server and I'm trying to connect using the 10 gigabit link and the DNS name, that's never going to work because that DNS server only serves the one gigabit network. The 10 gigabit network is completely separate from it. It doesn't even have a clue that it exists. So what you actually have to do is you, you've you got to explicitly, in the it, in this case where they're on separate networks, you have to explicitly say use the other network. So that's what we're going to do with mappings. So <clears throat> let's get explorer window all this stuff okay so you can see here i've explicitly told it free nas 10g if you remember from my uh 10 gig video where we're setting it up i went into my host file and created a host entry for free nas 10g that was the ip address of the free nas server on the 10 gig network um so when i went and mapped my network drive uh map network drive i specifically used that host name now if you don't have a host name if you just have the ip address you can of course put that in um one uh, and let's say i just want to i don't want to map one of the subdirectors i want to map the whole thing so i can do that this way here this is not one of the specific shares Whoop. Uh, oh free nas is going to make me use a share so we'll call it 
boom. So now this will only ever use the 10 gig network because I've explicitly told it that is the IP that I want to connect to. And that is the IP of the free NAS boxes, 10 gig NIC, right? So it's going to attempt to contact that 10 gig NIC and it can only do that through my 10 gig NIC. So that'll always work. Um, that is what I mean when I say explicitly setting the connection. So th that way there's no other path for it to take. It must take the 10 gig. Now, if you have a shared network, you have a 10 gig link and a one gig link from your workstation going to a single network and there is a device on that single network, you're going to have to use the implicit method. There's no way to explicitly that I'm aware of to explicitly tell Windows only use that 10 gig link when connecting to the specific resource out on the network. It may be possible. I'm sure someone out there in the comments will correct me on this because something is always possible if you got, <laughs> because usually these kinds of things are possible and I usually just don't know. I haven't spent enough time on server fault. All right, guys. So hopefully that made it clear. Um, how to set this up so that you can connect to one or the other um, to give you an example of connecting explicitly to the other network map network drive. Um, oh, dot one dot one thirty two. Believe that's the IP address. Boom. Okay, so now I've explicitly mapped it to both the one gig and the ten gig. We can validate that with Crystal Disk. One. Because we're just validating network speed. We're not validating actual write. I mean, I can use other tools for it, but I don't have them installed. So. Oh, okay. That's finally done. All right. So, as you can clearly see here, let's use the mouse because you can see the mouse. We clearly got only one gig of throughput on the Y drive, right? This is the Y drive, which is our IP address for our, 10, our one gig link, right? We clearly got 10 gig throughput, at least on reads, um, on our Z drive, which is our 10 gig link or 10 gig NIC on the FreeNAS box, right? Because this is the IP address of the, 10, of the one gig NIC on the FreeNAS box, IP address of the 10 gig NIC on the FreeNAS box. All right, guys, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, throw a like on it. Um, also, leave any comments or other questions you have for me in the comment section down below. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do so by clicking on the Amazon affiliate link down in the description. Uh, Y'all have been awesome at supporting me with that. Um, I really appreciate that, so thank you so much. Um, uh, thanks for watching again, guys. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.